as as you've said, don't stay in uh, an enclosed place. Make sure everywhere you stay is uh, as airy as possible. And when we cough, we cover our mouth. We cover your mouth, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. Uh, I'd like to thank Adibai Recording from Lagos, Emmanuel from Ogun State, and also Kazim. Thank you all for being with us. You can catch some of this on our website, www.channeltv.com. I am Jomi Otai. We stay tuned for news track. Life has just got easier. You stay connected to Channels TV, where news and innovations are shaping our world. Simply log on to ChannelsTV.com to get the breaking news. Browse the homepage according to what matters to you. Tap on the extended coverage of business, sports, politics, lifestyle, infotech, entertainment, health, world news, and lots more. Click on the live link and see the news in real time. Do you want to watch the latest video of the day? It's just a click away. Friend us on Facebook, YouTube, follow us on Twitter, Google Plus, participate in Channel TV polls, and share your comments. It's a website you can talk to. Your voice will be heard. ChannelsTV.com. The news at your fingertips. Thanks for staying with us. Welcome to News Track on Channels Television. I'm Jocker Rogers. Here are the news and reports we're tracking at this hour. President Goodluck Jonathan has paid tribute to the late literary icon Professor Chinua Achebe in a statement signed by his special advisor on media and publicity. President Jonathan says he mourns with Professor Achebe's family, friends and colleagues, as well as all who've learned indelible lessons of human existence from his award-winning works of literature. Other eulogies have come from the Lagos, Ogun, and uh, Kwara, and Cross River State Governors, lawmakers, and authors. Our correspondent, Henry Ogunjimi, reports. Joining President Goodluck Jonathan to mourn the foremost writer and author of the classic novel, Things Fall Apart, is Senate President Senator David Mack and his deputy, Senator Ike Ekweremadu. In Senator Mark's words, late Achebe was a patriotic Nigerian who used his literary prowess to seek a better society for our nation. We shall all miss him. Senator Ekweremadu describes Achebe's death as the exit of a literary Iroko. State governors of Lagos, Imo, Ogun, and Kwara, as well as the Northern States Governors Forum, 
I've also paid tribute to the late social critic. Governor Babatude Fashola expressed grief and describes Achebe's passage as a great loss to the literary world. His Imo state counterpart, Roches Okorocha, while commiserating with Achebe's family, asked the federal government to immortalize the late literary icon. Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed of Kwara State says, works of Achebe through different genres have helped in reshaping the world's perception of Africa. Just as Governor Ibikunle Amosun of Ogun State challenged Nigerians' new generation writers to imbibe the qualities of the erudite scholar. Also, the Northern States Governors Forum led by the Niger States Governor Muazo Aliu wants the federal government to honor the memory of Professor Achebe to inspire the younger generation. Literary and art scholars and practitioners have also reacted to the death of whom some of them learned their skills from, while others say Nigeria has a lot to learn from the late icon. Every, health, every society, healthy society, has to deal with controversy, um, has to deal with people's different opinions. But at least he wrote what was in his heart, right? And at least, you know, there, and they, you know, there were people, there were people out there who agree with that perspective. And it shows that there is still a long way for this nation to heal. You know, we still need a lot of reconciliation and healing in a nation like this. That book made it very evident. You may not agree with his opinions, but his opinions are well thought out and they're strategically thought out. Sometimes they can be allegorical, sometimes they can be for real. Um, he was a very, very deeply um, committed individual, artist, and uh, someone with a world view that several generations should emulate. And especially for those of us in Nigeria, it's a thing of pride, immense pride, that somebody like him actually came out of where the same geographical space as us. It's a loss. It's a big, big loss. It's like um, losing a, a, a jewel in your crown. Um, it's not just a loss for Nigeria, for Igbo, for you for Hausa, for the arts, but um, we've lost a father and we've lost a universal icon. I'll call it the anthology of literature that is left with us, and of course, his incisive interventions as regards uh, uh, what the nation has been through over the years. Uh, we will lose that with his demise. Um, it's, it's, it's like one of the, uh, the voices that calls the nation to order when, 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 when we're going astray. And um, every society needs that, you know. Uh, we're beginning to lose people like that. It's unfortunate that he had to go so quick. There have also been messages from other state governors, including the Cross River State Governor, Liel Imoke, and the Akai Keng Association, who see Achebe as a custodian of the African values. Well, two of Professor Chinua Achebe's contemporaries and world-renowned writers, Nobel laureate Professor Wally Shoyinka and Professor John Pepper Clark, have also paid him tribute. A statement jointly signed by both men says, quote, For us, the loss of Chinua Achebe is above all else intensely personal. We've lost a brother, a colleague, a trailblazer and a doughty fighter of contemporary Nigerian literature. Two voices have been silenced, one of the poet Christopher Okibo and now the novelist Chinua Achebe, maintaining that it's difficult for many to appreciate the sense of depletion in the literary quartet. Professors Shoyinka and Clark expressed hope in the young generation of writers to whom they've said the baton has been passed. Well, our next report focuses on the literary odyssey Chinua Achebe hailed by many as a wordsmith and an icon on the global stage. The legend of things fall apart, translated into 50 languages worldwide, is the reason he was regarded as one of the greatest literary minds to come out of Africa. You are my brothers and sisters. I've been away too long. So the news of the death of Professor Chinua Achebe, renowned novelist and poet, may be described as a monumental loss. 
A successful attempt at using literature to pass a message to thousands extends beyond the pages of books. It's a 